Hey, quit scrolling down Facebook. Check out this video. It's interesting though, because on Facebook, you'll have somebody do that, right? Yeah. You'll put an opinion out. And, man, there's always those groups that they just jump on it. They, now you got an argument, and then you got an argument within an argument. You got this this string of arguments that are going on, and everybody's got these things, and they're, they're bringing verses and all that stuff, and they're trying their hardest. And really, no, there, there's no love in this. It's just it's just the cut and dry. This is right. This is wrong. And I I struggle with that. That that where is the love? What where are we hoping to get somebody? And how is it that we can? What's the best way to encourage somebody to see that maybe their opinion isn't always the right opinion? I think you pointed something out, especially with the idea of Facebook. We live in a culture <clears throat> now that we absolutely love to debate and argue because information is everywhere. Right. So what that means is that we tend to, we like to win the argument. But in this community, it's not about winning an argument. It's about furthering your relationship with Christ. Right. And, and in the community. Right. So really it's about also finding people who care about your spiritual growth and your development. Because you will find people in the church who just love arguing. And they'll use scripture too to argue. Right. But if they don't do it in love, it really it doesn't really bear fruit. That right. way. Yeah, I remember there's there's a dad in, in our community that in, in my conversation with him at one point he said, uh, you know, whenever it comes to relationships and especially relationship with your with your kids, there are moments and times where you have to make a choice. Am I gonna be right or am I gonna have a relationship? And and what he was talking about, because I, and, and I understand there's going to be a lot of people that are going to disagree with this. They're going to go, "Oh my goodness, you, you, you're, you're compromising in order to keep a relationship. We shouldn't do that." But what he's talking about, there are several things that really it's just my opinion. It's just the way I see it. There, there, there are those things that are found within the Word of God that God's Word doesn't specifically say mm -hmm. don't do or whatever. But your bent, your your conviction is that we ought not to. And he was saying that in those moments, those places where we have grace, we need to have grace. We need to understand, I can push this and I can keep on and keep on and keep on and lose the relationship. And we've all seen that. Yeah. We've all watched mommies and daddies and kids and they don't talk to each other for 10, 15 years and you just go, what happened? It's because somebody was choosing to be right. And in some place you have to say, the relationship is very important. And I want to sit down, and we can sit down, and we can we can discuss it. Let's, but let's let's hold the relationship in high value. Let's figure these things out without taking a stand that destroys something. Yeah. That that is a beautiful thing about the community, at least a church community, because there should be grace. Was it Saint Augustine said, "Unity in the essentials, but grace in the non-essentials." Correct. And we have to be big enough to understand what is essential versus what is non-essential. What is opinion versus the solid stance in the Word Can of you God. imagine how messy the first community must have been, the, oh, that first church? Yeah. And then the churches that came after that. The, Paul shows up in Corinth, and we all know the problems that, that Corinth had. And Paul shows up, and, and God has him, you know, through God's work, there's an establishment of a church. And now, all of a sudden, there's these people coming in with these ideas that are so foreign so completely opposite of what the gospel is. But they're coming in because they're exploring. Their friend invited them, so they're coming in, they're going to kind of check things out. That's a mess, an absolute mess. And if you have somebody at the, at the front sitting there pounding their Bible and saying, this is what you got to do, this is what you got to do, you're going to lose those people. I Honestly, I see those people as kind of like uh, gatekeepers, security guards, and they know, they, they protect not the flock, they protect the church from getting these people in here. If, if, if we stand up and we preach this hellfire and brimstone, then all of a sudden, or preach, preach against certain things, then we will guarantee we don't have those things. And then if we don't have those things, we don't have to deal with those things. And yay, that's fantastic. But the problem is that Jesus came to die, with, die for those who struggle in that mess. So how do we ever cross over and help them to hear the gospel? I think that's an important distinction because churches, even today, we, churches love 
taking a stance on what they're against. Mm -hmm. But if we are a gospel community, it should be about what we're for, and we are for the gospel. Correct. And in, in, in all of its implications from there. Wow. If you have not checked out uh, this last sermon yet, I would recommend that you do that. Um, if you want to check it out, it should be linked right on Lance's face is where we'll put that card. Yes, just right there. <laughs> and then just check it out. It's been a great series. Thank you. Hey, Valley, if you've enjoyed our videos, um, let us know what you would like to ask Lance. I would love to sit down and ask him other questions that you have for him. If you have ideas for other things we could be doing, let us know as well. Because actually, I have this idea where I want to sit down with maybe our worship leaders and just kind of hear their heart about different music, different things, different aspects about worship. Let us know what you think. We check our comments regularly, so I guess that's a good place to comment. I think it would be like right, where's the edge of the screen? Like right here? Too far? Right here somewhere? Okay. Let us know what you think right here.